Another restless night, thanks to that dream. I don't know why it keeps happening to me. Just, it's been going on for about a month now. Could it be a sign? Maybe a warning? Or maybe, maybe it's just my nerves getting to me. Yeah, that's gotta be the possibility. I mean, it's a little crazy that a sign or a warning would come through a dream. I mean, after all, today is the big day. The day I finally say goodbye to home and venture out in the, to the great unknown. <sighs> well, since I really can't get back to sleep, might as well just get ready for the big launch. Hey, Slate. How's it going? You're up late. There's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So, it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday that you joined the space program, and suddenly, here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say, ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. I'm ready if you are. Are you kidding? Of course I'm ready! It's finally time to test the new landing hydraulics with a pilot instead of the auto-flight system. Speaking of pilots, make sure you don't crash the ship the first time you put it down, you hear? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfels at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you said your goodbyes or whatever. Uh, how's the ship looking? Great! You might get a kick out of this. I repurposed the spare oxygen tank and use it as an extra combustion chamber. Is that safe? Probably. How safe would you say this thing is? Oh, it's a perfect 10. Unless you're factoring in pilot error, in which case, it's about a 4. No offense. Wow, I'm gonna still take all the offense to that one. I've trained for months on this mission. Alright, well, what's my, what's my mission once I get into space? Hey, you're the pilot, you tell me. Aren't you pilot types all eager to get up there and explore for yourselves? Doesn't matter if you go to the moon or Brittle Hollow. Or just the other side of Timber Hearth. It's all the same to me. Get out there and have fun. Just don't hurt the ship. That's all I ask. Anything else I should do before I lift off? If you have any goodbyes to say, better say them now. I think your friend Hal is in the observatory waiting to see you off. Oh, and Gosson said they had the Zero-G chamber set up if you want a refresher on making ship repairs in space. Not saying you have to, but, uh, it, it helped get Gossin off my back. Alright, well, I'll humor him just for you. I mean, you're the one who built my ship, so, you know, it's the least I can do. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, good old Timber Hearth. All my life I've been nestled in your crater... And now, now it's time for me to finally make a name for myself out there, like the other explorers. Hopefully I'll get to see them again. It's been ages since I've seen them. I wonder how they're even doing. Oh. Hey, Micah. How's it going? I didn't even see you there. Hey, it's you! Slate said you'd be blasting off on your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch! Aren't you going into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. You better. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. I mean, I don't know. You remember what happened with Gabro, right? <sighs> We're still planting fresh trees after that incident. Uh, let's see, ignition was this. Let's see, upwards thrusters are here, and we have liftoff. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, 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 oh dear! Oh god! Oh god! I made it! See, I have what it takes to fly a ship. And you said I couldn't do it. Man, the memories of this place are just flooding back. 
from my days as a hatchling just running through the dirt paths and weaving in and out between the tree lines. Playing with the little firebugs as they dance around in the night sky. I'm really going to miss this place once I leave. I hear you're leaving to seek adventure up amongst the stars. Once you return, let you, me, and Gawson open a bottle of the good stuff. Uh, good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. An iron stomach is the mark of a true Harthian, my friend. Our hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. I mean, if you say so. I mean, I, I can't really complain. As a hatchling, I did shove a lot of things in my mouth just to see what they tasted like. And regretted only 80% of them. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They don't really explode as often anymore. All I know is that between the space program and Micah's model rockets, they ain't seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Hey, it only happened that one time. It wasn't even my fault then. Mostly. It was still Gavro's fault. At least that's what I'm go going with still. This projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. Sadly, is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if we can take a snapshot of the village. Uh, that looks like to be the ruins. Nope, oh, and there's the Geyser Mountains. Yeah, are we like on the southern hemisphere of this place? I think we are almost at the village. There it is. And a nice, beautiful sky shot of our home. This pilot seat, used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar, is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although, it's been argued with such distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight... The day will never, nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Harthian history. Yeah, we only have the chair to prove it. You don't want to know what happened to the ship. There's a nice radio. This one's been working on a fresh new probe launcher. Definitely been setting things up for the flight into space. They've been planning this for ages now. I'm just surprised I was the one chosen for this mission. That's a pretty nice model rocket they got there. Don't think this one flies, though. Unless Mike got a hands on it. In which case, oh boy, we better watch out. Are you still looking at that tree? So it's lunch day, huh? How's gonna miss ya? Speaking of lunch day, I was thinking about it. And the platform these ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be a perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping the space program. Just say the word. Nice try. But we all know you have it out for that tree. What? No, I think it's just in the way and someone ought to chop it down, you know. Specifically me. <laughs> you think this has to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Who would hold a grudge for that long? Well, I mean, the fact that you d immediately looked back up at that tree and are giving it this, the narrow stink eye on all four of them and are now gripping your edge mani ma uh, maniacally, I'm going to say yes, you still have it out for it. Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Alright, well, why don't you give me a, a little bit of a rundown on the instruments? Oh, sure. I made all the instruments, you know. Let me see. There's Church Drums, Rybeck's Banjo, and Gavro's Flute. And Feldspar's Harmonica, of course. Though Feldspar has been missing for a long time. 
Sometimes it feels like just yesterday that they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space, that'll be one of the space programs of the Travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. You know what? Why not? Let's get a feel for the Travelers. I know that's strumming anywhere. Good old Ryback playing a nice old tune on his banjo. Doesn't look like I'm in any frequency of the other Travelers, so... We'll, we'll play the music once we uh, get to a better location. Hello, astronaut! If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. You know what? For you guys, sure, let's play. Woohoo! Okay, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios, and you use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins! Okay, close your eyes and start counting. One, two, three, fifteen, twenty. Ugh. Those scamps. Aha! I found you. Thinking hiding behind a waterfall to mask the sound of this radio. Nothing can hide from the true power of my new and improved signal scope. Although this jump might do it. Oh, wait! Ah, you found me. But my hiding place was super good. Don't forget, you had to find both of us, okay? I know that, but you just made it so easy to find you. Alright, where are you hiding? There it is. I have you now. Hello! Oof! Peekaboo, I see you! I won? I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Of course. It's the least I could do for you two. I am gonna miss you guys, even if you were such a hassle back then. <sighs> I'm really gonna miss this place. Every night it's always such a beauty here. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater? Guess we'll be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water planet, giant steep, that's where I go. Why's that? One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep, it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire. Gabbro told me about their first trip to giant steep. They landed a ship easy enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabriel wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down. But suddenly, Gabriel couldn't go any further. Right. Why is that? I will. I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabriel go any deeper. It held Gabbro back, almost as if it wanted to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabbro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast! Ah! I mean, that's what Gabbro said anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gabbro out pretty good. If everyone wants to hear new stories at the village campfire, you know, make sure you bring them back with you. I'll be sure to do that. But you have to hold some of that tree sap ale for me. Almost there. There's not a whole lot of people left to say bye to. Hmm? 
You do know that's dangerous, right? That thing could kill you. Hi, astronaut. You know that patch of ghost matter inside the fence? Gossen said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown-up. Ghost matter is awesome! You know ghost matter is how Tech TD lost her foot, right? Whoa, really? That's so cool! I mean, if you want to lose more than a foot, by all means, go take a dive in there. I'm just looking out for you, little guy. Hmm? Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Any good sounds from space today? There are. My signal scope is set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency, so I'm listening to the Traveler's music. Last night, I heard Ryback's banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets, too. Depends on what time of day or night it is, and since it's different planets and in the sky are at different times. Signal scopes are cool. They are indeed. It's always nice to keep an, uh, an ear out for your friends. Even if they don't have any instruments and they're just whistling. Although, I'm... Have, oh. Oh, there's Ryback. And nothing else. I sm saw smoke coming from Yumbar Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone. That sounds ominous. Let's see. That's a know my ruins. That's the quantum grove crater. Those are the geyser mountains. Come on, where is it? Ah, there it is. Yumbar crater. Let me go take a look. I'm not really seeing much in the way of smoke. I mean, besides the camp going on on the Adel Rock, but. Maybe the scout launcher can give us a bit of an idea. Oh, wait, yep, there is something down there. I don't know what it is. Maybe I should go check it out before I leave planets. Yeah, you know what? I think that might be worth a, a look. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I got a zero-G train set up and if you want a refresher. Hey, I thought I might see you before your big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Uh, I'm a little nervous, yeah. Been having these weird dreams as well. Good! Everyone should be nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Still, I was never as green as you. Hey, I've gotten better. Think so, do you? Feel like proving it to your old flight coach? There's a satellite, which is definitely not a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the Zero-G cave, and it needs repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make a ship repairs in space. Oh, fine. One repaired satellite coming up. Cool. Get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. I make no promises with that. You remember what happened the first day of training? I still feel like someone overfueled the jetpack. And zero G stuff is pretty cool. Always feels like I'm walking through the cosmos itself. And there it is, my old flight suit. Uh, little 
snug, but still fits like a glove. Especially the gloves. Alright, uh, let's see. I think this was thrusters again. Yep, there it is. Greetings. I've come to take all your zero-G materials. Hey, hey. Nice of you to drop down. Guess where I'm going today. Oh, no. No, 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 no way. If you want to run off into space, that's your business. But don't make me, you know, think about it. Bad enough we got this weird cave down here. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Uh, just getting in some zero G time. So you're going in there? In the cave? Uh, what? No, I'm fine. Great. Great and fine. Well, you know I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Phew, now I got hand sweats. Alright, well, uh, I'll let you and your hand sweats be. I won't bring up the cave again. There you go. Ooh, oof. I think it still has a bit of a kick to it. Alright, and... Uh, oh! just maybe come down here just so I could just fix this broken piece of equipment so he didn't have to. Alright, well, there's one piece repaired. And let's see, does the flashlight still work? And if I were another room, yeah, there it is. Forgot how sweaty you get in that thing. Thankfully, space is cold. Very, very cold and unforgiving. There, the job is done. That's the done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock. So go get the codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there, and hey, try and avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time in training you. Got it? Uh, hopefully make That's no promises. Done. Of course, it'll be a uh, little more strict. Oh man, he's getting senile in his old age. Get this over with. It's time for me to finally go out and make a name for myself. Outer Wilds Ventures, Timberhurst's first and only space program, was founded to explore the furthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timberhurst and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Atle Rock. Wilds Ventures founding members, clockwise from the left, Hornfelds, Gossen, Slate, and Feldspar.
Uh, whatever happened to you, Feldspar? Why'd, why'd you just leave us like that? Big thanks to these additional founding members of the Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom would never have gotten off the ground. This person, that person, and that person, and that person, that person, that person, that person, that person. A big thank you to all those contributors. Without you, our dreams would never have been realized. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the Translator's Tools inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited it makes me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing this tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez, do not break it. Ugh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and I'm not the one going into space. How are you feeling? To be honest, I'm kind of terrified. Ah, uh, don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since we were hatchlings, remember? You'll do great, I promise. So what's the dirt? You have to see the new Nomai statue. New statue? You haven't heard? Gabbro brought it back with them from Giant's Deep, and Hornfell's just finished prepping it up for display. This is it right here. Neat, huh? Makes me wish we could see what a real-life Nomai looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. It looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know? And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Oh, jeez. I got a little carried away there. Go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Where'd you say the statue came from? From Giant's Deep, Gabriel fished it out of the oceans and brought it back here for study. Hornfells doesn't know much about it yet, just that it's crazy old and super tough. I wonder why the Nomai carved it. Apparently, Gabriel went back to Giant's Deep to try and learn more about the statue. Maybe they'll find some answers there. Any idea where I can find Gabriel? Gabriel said they were going back to Giant's Deep to wherever they found that Nomai statue. One of the islands, I think. You remember Gabbro plays a flute, right? Like, all the time. I bet your signal scope could find them easily. If you see Gabbro, say hi for me. Why do you think that all my made this statue? Good question. So, Gabbro found this fully intact statue on Giant Steep, right? Well, Hornfells told me it was made from the same type of special stone as the statue fragment Shirt brought back from the Hourglass Twins. We know the stone from Shirt's fragment can store information. That's why some of the stone from the statue fragment was repurposed for your ship's computer. Maybe the statues were made for storing information too? Think I'll discover anything cool up there? Hey, you never know. Maybe you'll be the one to solve the mysteries of the Nomai. Or maybe you'll discover a new kind of rock or something. But honestly, as long as they don't end up naming safety equipment after you, I'm sure you've done a great job. Yeah, thanks for the vote of confidence. No problem, take it easy. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. Maybe they're all dead. Maybe they all just left us. Maybe they were just passing through. I don't think we'll ever figure it out. It's just one of the greatest mysteries of our solar system. Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon! As it orbits our planets, the Outer Rock's gravity pulls objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Well, I'll be darned. It actually is. The strange rock moving around the grotto appears to react to conscious observation. 
The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play. But Gabriel claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of the debate agreed the effect is extremely creepy. I mean, just a piece of stone. What can be creepy about that, huh? I mean, just look at it. Uh, what? Where is it? Oh. I gotta say, this thing is pretty creepy. I'm just gonna get out of here. I feel like that thing's probably gonna kill me while my back's turned. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chet's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Who wrote this? That's kind of morbid. Well, aren't you an ugly fellow? How'd you get in there, little guy? This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew too close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. He doesn't look that bad. Although, these two giant protruding fangs of it kind of look a little bad. But he seems docile enough. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse deep surfaces. Try it out. I, I mean, okay. But if I fall flat on my face. Oh! Alright, this is kind of cool. Kind of disorienting a little bit, but still pretty cool. Oh. And that's just the same text. The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds Ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boosts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scout almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost in the depths of space. All 12 of them. We may never find them. What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they have possessed antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. The Nomai's body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The difference in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, shows us that the Herthians could not have descended from their Nomayan ancestors. It is not clear where the Nomai originated from, or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Who knows? Maybe I'll be the one to discover it. Uh, though I gotta say, those horns held up pretty well. Who knows how long this, uh, guy, girl, thing has been dead for. Aside from the dwelling and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorative pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system. Which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among the other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xeno-archaeological expeditions.
Hmm, that's an interesting symbol. This piece of Nomai writing was essential for deciphering their unique language. Although the text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Outer Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Wonder what they were searching for. To be honest, with them, it could have been anything. solar system. A lot bigger, but everything always has its place here. There's home. There's our Adel Rock. For the hollows pretty close it seems. Giant Steep is way on the other side of the, the sun, so we're going to have a bit of a travel there if we want to go talk to Gabbro about those statues. Our Gross twins are orbiting the sun right now. Don't know what that thing is. Looks interesting enough, but pretty dangerous to even get to. Knowing th what I've learned about our sun, I don't think landing on that thing is going to be easy. And, of course, in the darkest reaches of space, the Dark Bramble. From what I hear, it's pretty dangerous over there. That's where we last had contact with Feldspar before they disappeared. Who knows? Maybe there's an answer to where they disappeared to on that planet. Hey, Hornsfells. There you are. I finished the pre-fight observations. The local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We are better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plans once you're in space? Mm. To be honest, I think I'm just going to wing it. Plan to follow the footsteps of Feldspar and the great Outer Wilds Ventures tradition, are you? I might have guessed. Well, see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Well, looks like all that's left to do is send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to finally get off this rock. Excellent! You'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help with anything. Uh, can you give me a little bit of insight on the other travelers? Well, let's see. Shirt is on the Hourglass Twins, Rybeck is on Brutal Hollow, and Gabbro is on Giant's Deep. And there's Feldspar, obviously, but of course, we don't know where they are, or if they're even still alive. Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. What about, what about Feldspar? Feldspar was one of the four founding members of Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach Gosson, Slate the Engineer, and me. As ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gossan did. I can tell you Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though. Nothing scared them. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. And then one day they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened, or where Feldspar went, or even whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since they left. Alright, well, I guess I'm good. Take care. Sooner or later, we'll, we'll find out what happened to them. Although, it would help putting some minds to ease. Hmm. 
I also wanted to check out this thing whenever I decide to go to Giant's Deep. I keep seeing it uh, orbit that planet, and something happened to it when I woke up last night. Hmm. So many mysteries to solve. About uh, what? Uh. Huh. Okay, what was that? Statues, its eyes opened. There was a blue light. Not... Mm. Mm. Maybe my nerves really are getting to me. First that dream, now that statue. Hey, hey, so did you get a good look at that Nomai statue? I got a little bit more than a look. The statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? So, its eyes opened, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean, like, a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? No, that statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did. But why? Hornfells tried everything to get that statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabbro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabbro's, you know, Gabbro, so maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey... See if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck, and safe flying. Well, there's Giant Seep right there. Oh, well, this thing, finding Gabbro shouldn't be too much of a challenge. <sighs> Why is it all the weird stuff happens to me before the exciting stuff does? I mean, all I wanted to do was just go out into space, explore, make a name for myself like my heroes. And now just all this weirdness. Hello, astronaut. Are you going into space today? Are you going into space and never coming back like Feldspar did? Don't worry, I'm coming back. That's what Feldspar said too, but they never did. Ornfels will be really sad if you don't come back. Like how sad it makes them to talk about Feldspar. So you should make sure you don't get lost in space, too. You know, you're really morbid. If there's someone I'm happy I'm going to be leaving back at home, it's definitely you. I mean, yeah, I am I feel bad about what happened to Feldspar. But I don't like bringing it up when I know the others don't like talking about them. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of the launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. Oh, well, in that case, I, I need I need to come for Marshmallow. Nice and toasty, just like how I like it. Mmm, perfect. Mm. Oh, so good. Mmm. Mm. Alright, got my confidence. Let's go. There she is. My own personal ship. Well, it's time to finally say goodbye to this place and venture out into the great outer wilds. There's all our equipment. Looks to be the reactor. Surprised it's still being held up with just tape and wooden planks. I think they would have given me a better reactor for this thing. 
At least we got a steady supply of marshmallows. Solar map. And of course our computer. Cataloging all our adventures on here and the Addle Rock. Definitely need to go check out the Lunar Ruins and then probably go to Giant's Deep. I do know one of our adventurers is on the Addle Rock, so why don't we pay them a visit? On the horizon, illuminate dark areas, detect hazards, and test the environment. Never leave home without it. <sighs> All right, here we go. Can't believe it. did it. There's home. From up here, it looks really small. But the lights of home will always shine bright. Alright, well, there's, there's the crater we probably should go check out because that note said that it was pretty important. Now, how do I land this thing? Oh, boy. Oh, nope. Nope. Wrong way. Uh, incoming. Incoming. Oh, no. Oh, ow. Uh. I did it. Ah, a perfect landing. Hey, oh, Atchling. Thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something over the horizon, and I didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back. So, I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. So, what crashed? I don't know what it is, exactly. Looks like some kind of plant seed. But, it's not anything I've seen on Timber Hearth before, and trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. Do you think it's extraterrestrial? It kind of looks like something that might have come off Dark Bramble. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of the stain hatchling, and that's a fact. Think I'll set Morrow and Hal loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later, and no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than the tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Tuff can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside. And anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. That's a good way to lose an arm or two. Well, it's good that I got a portable scout launcher with me. I'll, I'll do the job for you, buddy. Uh. Whoa! See, it is definitely a lot bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Whoa. Wait, wait, did we just man, is there like a skeleton inside it? What what is that? Looks like a a tree growing on the, the inside and a Campfire? Drums and a harmonica? That sounds like Jet, but we heard he was on the, the Ember Twins. Or the Hourglass Twins. Seems like the harmonica is coming solely from the seed. Blasted seed did a lot of damage when it crashed. I like this crater. Need something for me, Hatchling? I threw my little scout into the seed. You did, did you? And you're telling me it's bigger on the inside than on the outside? Hmm. <laughs> this is gonna be a chore to chop up, 
And no mistake, can we even remove a sea that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way out through? Maybe I better grab an extra axe, or three, just in case. Uh, speaking of which, my signal scope is picking up a harmonica inside the seed. Inside the seed? Huh. Don't know what to tell you there. The only harmonica player I know is Feldspar, and they disappeared ages ago. Listen here. Don't go telling Guinness about the harmonica music, okay? They'll never let me get rid of this darn seed if they suspect it has any musical talent. Said that the C Feldspar played the harmonica. Could it possibly mean that he's stuck inside the seed or maybe the bramble itself? I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking too hard on it. I mean, they were gone for ages. They could be anywhere in the solar system, or even outside the solar system. If I cannot concuss myself getting out of here. Oh, uh oh. Uh, there we go. Hey, we made it. Yeah, my scout reading is actually coming from Dark Bramble itself. That's something I'm going to have to look to in the future. For now, let's head to the Outer Rock. There's the landing. Just land outside that crater. I don't really see a decent landing space in there. Perfect land. Finally set on a, myself on a body outside of my planet. It's peaceful out here. Uh, oh. oh, it's you! Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see! Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. All the other travelers stumped come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Shirt comes by to say hi, but Gabbro is Gabbro, and you know how Ryback feels about unnecessary space flights. Don't go! Uh, I mean, anything else you wanted to ask? Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control, Hornfells and Gossand mostly, and they radio up the chat every now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. They forget about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system, let alone in our village. Was that you whistling? Probably, or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with the signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. The North Pole is marked in red on your mini-map, but the Outer Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north. You can't miss it. What is this place, anyways? Haha, <laughs> very funny! Oh, stars above, you're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. <sighs> Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started out at Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tend to, uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. 
Using the outpost cut down the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays though, it's mostly just me up here, raising saplings from Timber Hearth and keeping an eye on things. Alright, well, I'll be sure to check out the, the moon a little bit. You take care. It's a nice tune you got there. Alright, well, you did say to go north, so let's head there. Oh, there we go. not picking up Ryback's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I still feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51. Listening to Shirt play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gossen their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Day 55. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Ryback's doing okay, that oaf. I was worried. Day 63. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. Day 70. No, it's back again today. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Day 76. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. Day 88. It's still there. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I better talk to Guinness. He's been hearing the same harmonica as us. Could it mean that Feldspar is alive still? That's crazy. Right. What else is there to explore on this moon? I think it would be easier just to fly around on my ship instead of just hoofing it. Whoa. Well, didn't one of us say that they put a huge crater in this moon? I think it was Feldspar who did it, funny enough. Saw something in the ice. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh God. on the South Pole. Oh.
sends me to post it, this, my friends, but I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the Eye of the Universe. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope, Kasaba. Our search for the Eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. This is a curious result. Is it possible the Eye has stopped calling out its signal? sun. It looks a lot less orange and a lot more red since we last saw it. And the comet. It looks like it's heading directly for the sun. I need to find Gabbro. I need to find them fast. Well, thankfully, Giant's Deep is only a couple minutes away, so it shouldn't take us too long to find Gabbro. Let's see, where are you hiding? Ah, there you are. I'd recognize that flute playing anywhere. Alright. Now they said Giant's Deep was nothing but a water planet with a couple islands, so if I just go in easy, we should be fine. Oh, I might be going in too fast! Oh, jeez! Oh, okay there! Uh... Wow! They mentioned a lot of water on this planet, but they forgot to mention the giant twirling cyclones of death. Okay, where, where are you, Gabro? Why would you want to... You'd have to be as relaxed as them to be wanting to stay on this planet, of all things. I want to go back to Timber Earth. I miss home. Ah, uh, where are they? Be around here some well okay and it's also raining islands here i can't find no that was no all right let, let's break through the atmosphere and see if we can get a better understanding of where they're hiding maybe looking at the planet as a whole should give me a a, a better look at what hemisphere they're on wait What's going on with the sun? It's super red. And I don't know. It almost looks like it's dying. You know what? Gabro yeah, can wait. I probably should go home and report this. Yeah. You know what? I gotta go do that. Wait. What's happening? Stars above. No. No. No! Home's right there! God. Come on, punch it! Come on! No! No! 